this is the church here and it's a, a lovely looking church the red door on it there and I'm not sure if it's still active or in use today but any information that I do find I will put it in in the description box under the video so we'll have a look around So we'll continue on on our journey in St. Patrick's Church of Ireland church here. And that's the church. And it's a beautiful looking church. Look at all the look at the tower on that. A lot of detail in that tower. I love those old churches. Really, really nice churches. So we'll keep going along. This one here is a big railing around it. And I think it's kind of broken away. You can see where the wall has broken here. We'll have a look inside and see. Now there is the old railing part of it there that broke away and it's left against the wall where we'll go over and have a read of the monument and headstone here. And it says, Sacred to the memory of William James Sheil, MD, which would mean medical doctor, I think, who died on the third day of March 1870, aged 73 years, and of his second son, William James Shield and that says MB on that who died on the 8th day of July 1869 aged only 30 years old and of his third son Charles Augustus Shield who died the 27th day of September 18 68, age 27 years old. So two young sons there buried with their father. A very, very young age, his two sons were. You can see over here then, this side is the remains of Charlotte, wife of William James Shield. You can see the MD there again of Clonmel, who died on the 18th of April, 1853. So this one is very old. And it's a family buried there. And two young sons. And it needs to be repaired in some way. And I'm sure it would look very nice when it's finished. But it's a pity to see it in that state so that's the old church there guys i was showing you coming in there's some lovely windows on it there and this one here says here light the mortal remains of michael o'brien who departed this life april 1826 age 20 years old in 1826 so another young person and his headstone is just underneath the church here you can see the slate roof and the windows here in the church look at that window how big it is how fabulous looking that window is and the designs on that So this is the churchyard here in Tipperary. Marfield is the area as it's known, it's called Marfield. And uh, it's a really scenic area as well. You can see the mountains in the background there. Very scenic area. So we'll continue on down. 
Now there's a lot of signs here as well I've noticed. No dogs, which is the first I've seen for me because I see a lot of people walk their dogs in cemeteries. It's a relaxing place to go, I suppose, with your dog for a walk. But it doesn't seem to be the case here. And um, you could walk around here for hours, but I'm running low on time today. So I said I'd come in and just give you a look around and let you see the area. And this one here lies the body of James. And they're very hard to read. James. And it looks... It's very hard to... 1729, I think that date is on that. Age 30 years old. But look at the size of the headstone. It's tiny, the headstone. Very, very small. And one next door to it there as well, but no writing on that one. But you can see the size of the place here in area. It is a big cemetery. And very beautiful. I see one over here with an Irish flag on it. So we'll definitely look at that with the Irish flag as well. And look at this one, guys. How amazing is this? An angel or is it a cherub head with wings? Look at the designs on these. And there's another one here on the other side as well. Look at that. The details on it. Isn't that beautiful? And it says here lied the body of Felix Kelly who departed this life September the 14th 1769 aged 48 years old and even the writing on that look at the writing on that engravement the writing is lovely but look at those cherub designs on each corner of it there you can see them a beautiful headstone and there's really old headstones in here let's just go over i want to look at this one here does um, this grave looks really, really nice and well kept here? And it says, and this, erected in love and memory of John, and it looks like Gurren knocked lofty who died on february the 3rd 1966 age 82 years old and there's loads of stuff left here for john you can see the irish flag and somebody i'd say like a child left a little drawing here of irish flags could be for their granddad grandchildren maybe left for their granddad and there's a walking stick here as well. There's a walking stick here, you can see it, look. And it says dad on the walking stick. And there's a little bear, little blue bear, flower pot, some daffodils, a lovely timber. Love heart here on this, made of wood, the crucifix. And you can see a picture of John and this and he's holding a pint of guinness in his hand and isn't that lovely to see the pint of guinness and the irish flags and this grave a really lovely final resting place for john rest in peace john and there's two walking sticks on it there's actually another one on the other side there as well. You can see it. Two walking sticks on it. Really nice. And just next door to John's then we have this one here. Another fine example here of carvings on headstones. 
we see flowers on it here like roses with stems and that looks like an urn on it there as well and it says to the memory of Morris Garrel or Garen who died April the 19th 18 19 age 44 years old and somebody has left um, artificial flowers here and this one but well, isn't that just a lovely example as well there of a headstone with designs and there's the Irish one where we're looking at with the Irish flags and the love heart on it that's well kept I love this one I think it's my favorite so far the Irish flags so we'll look around a bit more around the area here and see what we can find there's some new headstones it seems like here as well kind of new headstones mixed in with old and we see there's five stone markers here and there's no writing on these stone markers they're just old stone markers and then this one here is very very new looking in love and memory of martin brett russell's town died 1926 his wife alice conley Nee Conley died 1923 and their infant daughter Alice Brett aged 3 their son Paddy Brett their daughter Mary Ellen Moore Deer Park interred in 4 mile water so that's another lovely one there loads of trees in here as well look at the size of this tree here There's a big, another big headstone. You can see the cross, and that's the back of it. Sacred to the memory of William Eaton of Clan Mel, who departed this life. 1834 and that. It's another old one. There's a lot of 1800 graves in here, and I'm sure. 1700s as well but you can see the footpath going around here a little trail going around the cemetery and there's loads of lovely headstones around here monuments and uh, i just want to show you this one over here look at this plot how colorful this is is this absolutely gorgeous and you can see the wind the wind has knocked down some of it some of the pots so i want to fix up some of these pots here guys because if i see things blown over or anything like that on a grave i'll fix it up you know and you can see look at the little angel i've seen that before reading the book little teddy bear statue there of a little teddy bear flowers and Jesus and it's all the one family here you can see and I just read this bit here it says in love and memory of Patrick Kennedy who died in 1935 age 63 and his wife Mary died 1959 age 80 and their sons Michael 1911 age 5 Willie, 1963, age 50. Richard, 1973, age 69. And his wife, Grace, died 1937, age 28. Their son, Edward, died 1947, age 16. Richard's son, Billy Boy. Very unusual name. I've never seen that before. Richard's son, Billy Boy, died 1980, age 35. And there's a cross there in the middle and it says Kennedy. So that's the Kennedy family. And I think there's a war grave here as well. On this one here, you can see the, the design on it there. That's the military design and the military number, private 
J. O'Grady, Royal Army Service Corps, died the 19th of May, 1918. I think it looks like they're aged 22 years old. So there's another military grave, all in the one plot of the Kennedy family. And look down here, guys, as well. Wow, I've never seen this before on a grave. It's actual helmets. War helmets. And I think it was 1918 was World War One. So are these actual helmets from World War One original helmets? And they look like they're very heavy. So I believe they're original. And if anybody knows the design on that there, on the helmet, now it looks like an anchor on it. So maybe it was someone that was in the Navy in the war. But there's two helmets there. And we can see at the back here. I don't see any writing on this one here. But there are two helmets from the war, guys. So that's just amazing to find a war headstone. And I found war headstones before, but I've never found ones with an actual military helmet from the war left on the grave. And this one here looks like it's leaning over, kind of slanted. Almost looks like it's going to fall over. And I see if there's a name on this one. Erected by William. William P. Keating of Dalston, Middlesex, London. As a slight tribute of sincere love to the memory of his parents his sister and half-brother as below of your charity brave to the soul of Margaret Luther late of Stephen Street Clonmel who died November 1871 aged 82 years old also her beloved son Richard Luther who died the 6th of January 1872 so that's a really old monument there i'll give you a closer look at it there you can see a monument that's kind of leaning over to the side leaning over sorry and there's more of those angels and another one here look you can see them, angels, angels and that, but look what's in the middle of this one guys, wow, look at this, it's a skeleton, a skeletal person, and it looks like he's holding something, or just, I don't know, in his hand here you can see, he's holding something like a stick over his shoulder like he's maybe carrying something on a stick or he's just carrying a stick but it's a skeleton on this one here and it says here light the body of Patrick Keating who departed this life on the 22nd of April 1787 in the 26th year of his age and there's more lovely designs there. Look at the flowers on that. Well, that's amazing to find that. Very, very unusual looking headstone, but lovely at the same time. And you see the skeleton on it there, look. You can see the full skeleton on it. The eyes, arms, legs, everything on it. Very nice. So guys, I'm going to have another look around here and see what else we can find.
Well, this place is absolutely gorgeous in here. So peaceful. And I'm very blessed with the weather today as well. And you can see the mountain and scenery in the background there. Just hills all around. And we found a lot of these cemeteries and old graveyards in Ireland like this, where they're just covered with amazing scenery, mountains and hills. And uh, they're an ideal place to be buried in your final resting place, I think. It's absolutely beautiful. And here's an old one here, and it looks like it's broken up. You can see it's all broken there, and like it was put back together. And it says of the late, the name is Shaw Esquire. And it's like 1817, it looks like, on that. But it's all broken away, you can see. Here, how broken it's gone. And they just kind of put it back together as best they could. A lot of chest tombs in here as well. Now, I haven't seen any crypts of such yet. But um, amazing headstones in here. There's another one here. A chest tomb as well, erected to the memory of Elizabeth. Elizabeth Markham, it looks like, on that. And it looks like the date on that, guys, is 1848, is on that. So that's 1848, so that's another old one there as well. And I just want to show you this one over here. Chest tomb. Look at the designs on this one as well. The chest tomb. See the urn on it. There. Around the side as well. You can see the detail and work. Craftsmanship that's gone into this one here as well. Look at that. Beautiful designs. On that. So there's so many headstones in here, guys. But I'm happy I found those ones there because they're really, really interesting. And you know, I love coming across old headstones and headstones with, you know, something different on them. And those ones are very unique. To find you don't see them every day but when you do find them they're treasured this is a, a plot family plot here as well sacred to the memory of Anne Loner, Lonergan who departed this life in 1876 aged 50 years old and there's another chest tomb there as well. And this is, I think it says on this one here, William Lonergan Esquire from Clonmel. Died in 1841. And that's another Esquire. We've seen a lot of Esquire ones around. And it seems that the Esquire ones are more connected to the Church of Ireland cemeteries, the Esquires. You can see where I was, guys, earlier, how big it is in the cemetery here. You can walk all around that there. Very peaceful here, done quite really nice. And there's the church. That's the St. Patrick's Church, Church of Ireland in Marfield here in County Tipperary. And I don't know, think it's opened to have a look inside because I know there's a few people asking before on the videos I've done about looking inside the church. But you know, a lot of these Church of Ireland churches don't be open very often. So it's hard to get a look inside. But I will check before I leave. If it's opened, we'll have a look inside. But if it's not, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do, guys. But even at that, it's still a beautiful looking church, even from the outside.
So we'll, we'll go up this part of the cemetery here and have a look around. You can see the church there now again, the old tower on it. There's another little grave here with a railing around it, iron railings. And see, can I read this one here? It's hard to read this. 1871, I think, is the date on it. Very hard to read. But a lovely little cross headstone there. And that one there is lovely. You see, they've cut down trees here as well, guys. You can see uh, the stump there on the tree, quite large tree that was, was cut down. And there's a headstone just right in front of it here. You can see the, the size. And the railing here has actually in, embedded itself into the trunk of the tree. You can see the railing that was going around there is embedded into it. So guys, I'm going to leave it there today. So for me here in St. Patrick's Church of Ireland, Church County Tipperary, take care and I'll talk to you all again soon.